Hello everybody, it's Trevor Urslescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, you may be wondering why I haven't made some videos in a little while. It's my dad had passed away uh, around December of this year. So anyway, I'm kind of dealing with a bit of that type of stuff. But one thing is my dad was quite a good model kit builder and he had an interest in fire trucks and so this video is sort of to pay homage to my dad's uh, fire trucks that he had built and a whole bunch of cool things like that so i wanted to show all of you these fire engines that my dad built they range from basically 1922 to 1930. it's a good eight year span in between there of these different fire engines that he made and, and a lot of them he converted from model kits that are out there and others he has built basically 90% from scratch using his vacuum form uh, equipment and things around the house and all the rest so I really hope that you enjoy this video and that you appreciate my dad's work which is something that's brand new and the sad sort of part of this is that I wanted to film my dad actually talking and describing his models last year, last summer, but things got busy when I came out to visit him, and uh, unfortunately when I was able to come back again, he was gone. So I've got little cards, because he had entered these in shows, some of them got into Skill Auto Annual magazines, different points in time. And uh, he did write write-ups because he entered them in the shows and of course the write-up went with the model. So anyway, I am unboxing these things and I'm reading his cards. So that's basically the best I could do in this situation. But anyway, again, I'm going to share these models with you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So one of the things my dad does or used to do with his model kids is he would always make these little carry travel boxes so that he could take his models to the uh, different shows and all that. Now I've un unwound this string a little bit, it was wrapped around those uh, little, little washers. But anyway, I'm doing this because I have no tripod. But you see, here's one of his models. This is a Fire Chief's car from 1922 that is a modification of the AMT Beverly Hills 1920s Oldsmobile. So I'm just going to take these out of the boxes and show you my dad's fire engine collection. And here we have my dad's 1922 Oldsmobile Fire Chief crew car that he had converted from the AMT Beverly Hillbillies kit. Now the one thing here is the Beverly Hillbillies kit didn't have any of the rear fenders back here. So dad used, um, I do believe there was some sort of fender in the kit. There, it, there's something about it. I have to go and look at my old what's in the box and figure it out. But the the main part of this is Dad put either two fenders together and spliced them in to make the rear fender back here. Um, I did find the little uh, the little uh, gauge. The radiator cap was like a gull. It broke off. It's sitting in a bag inside that box that he made. But my dad used a lot of vacuum forming. He he made up a vacuum form machine and created the bucks and everything to make up the top here because it's just an open car in the Beverly Hillbillies. Let's see, I don't want to force the hood up. <laughs> anyway, this is kind of a nice shot I got going on here, so let's just tilt the camera up, take a look at this. It's pretty good work. Sorry you're going to see a bit of backdrop. This is not the most polished uh, representation here. Doing my best. This is the day of us having to go back from where my dad lives back to where we live. But notice this. So my dad made this little rumble seat back end with actual operating hinge. And if we... Let's just move the model around here. 
There's the little bullhorn that they had for calling out directions in the fire. <laughs> Close this. See how my dad's done all the pinstriping up here. And of course, we just turn that around. So again, pretty nice work. And silver pinstripes and everything. The chief on the car door. I'm going to try to open up that hood. Hang on a minute here. All right, so I'm having a little trouble opening the hood, and I really don't want to reef on it and, you know, <laughs> cause other problems. So I'll just turn it over. So there you got the uh, running gear of this Oldsmobile. And you can tell just by looking underneath here that uh, Dad built out the full engine. It's just, I can't, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> don't just want to go... By the power of Grayskull, let's open up the hood, he man. You know, you know. So I'm just gonna leave that for now. But anyway, you can see the uh, the attention to detail Dad had on these things, and just how he would turn something that already existed into something completely new. And now here's another 1922 fire truck based on the Oldsmobile kit. This one is a 1922 chemical fire truck and my dad lengthened it one and a half inches and all other parts are scratch built on this thing. And this is where uh, dad excelled quite a bit. Okay, I'm downstairs on the bench and I'm putting my feet into the doors. <laughs> anyway, that's a creaky sound. So if we tilt the camera up here, maybe move back a little, you can see this uh, this greatness here. Okay, I'm using the end of the paintbrush here. But look at the uh, the gas lantern here, the old oil light. My dad made up these little boxes. Or they may be boxes from some of the other earlier model kits, because I know a lot of the models around this era had these. Oh, they might even be Beverly Hillbillies boxes. But again, that's about it. Notice again the pinstriping he's done. The F-E-R. I'm not sure uh, what fire department he was uh, planning here. Anyway, you can see the nice leather seats he added in. The uh, the siren right there. <laughs> you know what my dad would say? He'd go... For the... <laughs> he used to do that <laughs> when we grew up. Good times with dad. Okay, so notice the chemicals the tanks and everything he's made on here. The camera adjusts. You can see the, the great level of detail. This is all scratch built, folks. Dad would be uh, making these somehow. Probably using evergreen styrene and his vacuum forming machine. Maybe even carving some of these out of wood. I mean, look at the... There's the old... Uh, yeah, that's the old fire extinguisher right there. The pump kind. These are, of course, your uh, gauges and stuff for the the fire stuff. He's got made up his own fenders again and he put that little 1920s step kick into there. Uh, let's see, see the hose reels. Now I don't know if he's actually wound something around there or he's carved it in. You know the whole sad part about this with uh, with dad is I was gonna come out last summer. I mean it was great I came out in the summer and I got to spend some time with dad but i never got to film these models of his with him and i was wanting to do a little series you know where dad explained everything all the steps he took and what he did then uh in december he passed away <laughs> and we got so busy in the summer you know trying to get things together out here that um I never got to film them. So that's the the sad part. But look at the little bell. Like this is a this is a brass bell my dad made. He actually machined this bell using his lathe or something. The uh, the parking brake and all that. Let's just move this around a little. Made up the fire axe. Of course the tanks on the back. Here, uh, the little grab handles. Okay. Let's move this in. There's uh, 
wonder if I can zoom in here. There we go. Like the whole instrument panel and the little um, stuff on the steering wheel for selecting your spark and all that. Okay, we go to the back here. There's two fire extinguishers on the back end. Of course, your hose off the back there and all your other tanks. This is sort of, I believe this would be a mix, mixing tank right in here. Mix the two chemicals together when you needed it for your fire. And again, okay, I'm gonna just pick this up back here because I don't think, like the fire chief car, I don't think I'm gonna try to <laughs> muscle off the hood. But you can see underneath here, it's very simplistic. Hey, eh? this is just the typical Oldsmobile kit. And my dad extended this one out. I think he used two kits to do that. So you can see the nice, simple, clean build underneath. But again, a lot of pinstriping and work. Great detail stuff. Even doing, going as far as building the stop, uh, spotlight and the little glass gauges that they would have had back then. Now, let's... Uh, Move this this way for a minute. Okay, let's uh, let's get a picture here. Okay, hopefully that worked. Now I'm going to just show you a different fire engine here. This is one Dad built for a model train set a long, long time ago. This is another one that he scratch built. This is HO scale for you model train guys. And this is more like a Model T-ish, sort of, because look at the grill there, right? It's got that typical Model T angle stuff. Although this is way bigger than a T would ever be. But you can see, you know, Dad carrying on the chemical tanker thing. This was in the box with it. But again, hose reel on the top, the chemicals underneath with the bar over the top. Instead of how it's there with the bar, you know, toward the bottom. And again, neat little HO stuff. And again, there's this is all made out of um, plastic strips and all kinds of things. Yeah, Dad was pretty good at that. So there we go. We got the, the two different scales. So what you're looking at here is a conversion that my dad created. This is using the old 1926 Mac AC Bulldog fire engine from Ravel Monogram. Uh, all fire equipment and the body are scratch built. This is a... The SV is for the Steveston Volunteer Fire Department. That's on the side there. So I was just reading dad's old card. This is a... Uh, when he entered models in our model contests out here. This is uh, the stuff he wrote. Okay, so this is a pretty cool uh, conversion that Dad did. I mean, look at this thing. This is all scratch built. This was a logging truck, and uh, I got the logs somewhere in a box. Anyway, I mean, look at this stuff. All the handrails, these are all brass that Dad made. Of course, he's got the uh, fire hat up on the top, as well as another one of those old megaphone bullhorns. And then you can see, see uh, the dashboard and the nice upholstery in there. And of course, this is one where you can lift up the hood. Oops, oh, just, of course. And you can see the motor underneath. I think I'm blocking the light. But anyway. That uh, front end is very similar to the French style on the Citroëns and whatnot. The Renaults, the radiator backward here, which is quite different from how we normally have the radiator up front. But again, you can see this great detail. Again, the lanterns and the big fire extinguisher. And of course your hose hookup with the hoses and the hose reels up top. 
You can just turn this a little bit. See there are 500 gallons and there's all the hoses folded up underneath here. And we've got our hose reel down below, the big one. Different hose nozzles. There's three he's got on here. As well as all the little doors and whatnot. Turn it around here. See so he's even got the, the correct uh, white rubber tires painted on there. And then again more fire axes. And all these little holders here, that's all sheet brass that dad would have bent up and put in there. Lots of great details. See, even the fire extinguisher has a little purple hose coming off. And then of course more of these boxes for tools and utilities. And then this is a canister for the gas lanterns. And you can see he's got the guitar wire running in underneath. Very, very great work. Of course this thing got him a second place. Can you believe it? <laughs> I think he might have won first with one of his other things, so to be honest. Okay, so here's the Mac Bulldog underneath, and you can see it's a chain drive going up into the wheels. So you got that big transfer case underneath, and then of course there's that engine that I was trying to show you. Oop, the hood just popped open on me. So anyway, another one of these amazing fire trucks. Ooh, something just shifted. Did you see that? Anyway, another one of these amazing fire trucks built by my dad. There. Yep. Sorry, I might have just shown you the behind the scenes. All right, this is a big one. This one is a 1929 Arns Fox Pumper, a 10th or 1,000 gallon fire engine. This one is all scratch built. Now, Dad started off with the frame from the 124 scale uh, AMT Louisville truck. That's a Coca-Cola one currently that's out now. Now the only thing of the Louisville truck is the actual suspension and tires and wheel arrangement. So basically here and here you're looking at a 1970s Ford Louisville truck. The rest is Aaron's Fox. Now there is a model kit by I believe it's Jordan. Now that's a one uh, HO scale 187th scale railroad miniature model. And that was of the Aaron's Fox. So what my dad did, my dad was a draftsman. So he knew and understood scale and all kinds of other things and how to scale things up. So he took the dimensions from the model railroad uh, fire engine and scaled them up to 124th, 125th scale to fit that Louisville truck. <laughs> so here's, here's the results. So he scratch built this entire pump arrangement here and then uh, covered it all with bare metal foil now unfortunately this is not a perfect chrome job but he's taken chrome sheets and bent them like folded them over and rubbed them down and all that any of you guys familiar with bare metal foil the only problem is it's all full of little tiny pit holes and whatnot now if you want to completely perfect Aaron's Fox you know you want that chrome excellent but with the little pits and stuff it actually does make it look a little more like they used this fire engine so I don't know the camera doesn't really pick it up uh, now the Louisville truck has of course posable wheels I do think I don't know if it came in the kit with the posable I have to what's in the box one but it's not a hard conversion to uh, put metal pins in there. Okay, now we're going to look at some of the detail my dad added in. These funny little rods are the original style 1920s shock absorbers. And what they would do is they'd actuate on a spring down below. Uh, you can... There's a dampers on the side. If you go into car museums, you, you, you can see how they work. There's dampers on the side and there's a little dial and you click it and all that stuff. Well, Dad's got it all in there. 
I was under the impression that this thing had an opening hood because of the the detail dad carved into these hood hinges but I flipped it over and it's completely hollow under there so unfortunately dad never made a Aaron's Fox you know massive straight eight or whatever they had under here unfortunately but again like in the other kits you can see he's added in these brackets for the axe and all that made out of brass I don't know if these are plastic or not of course I can never ask him again if they were plastic <laughs> So I'll have to guess. The only thing, it's sort of hard to figure where to put your hands on this to maneuver it around. And again, Dad's using his bare metal foil here for all, all those uh, rubbers, rubber foot pads on the running boards and whatnot. But again, you got two axes on either side. Let's see like how massive this thing was, eh? Aaron's Fox underneath. Now all these letters here, they're hand transfers from the 70s. Sorry for bumping the camera. Let me just move up there. So those hand letters do not say Aaron's Fox. They say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, on and on. So you got to rub down each letter to spell your word letter for letter. The old dry transfers. You guys remember those? Yeah, my dad still has a ton of those. And... Uh, that's what he used to make the Aaron's Fox. Now, I'm not too sure on this pinstripe on the tank here, what that was from. Free form, maybe. And then of course he's got these little homemade fireman's helmets and uh, steering wheels. Dad also scratch built all these ladders. And of course the famous lantern off the back here. And of course you can see all the hoses and reels underneath. Now, this thing is not like a, a tanker where it's got the external tank. I do believe they would come up to the hydrant and then turn on that gigantic pump and pump through all these hoses. And that's what your 1,000 pound or 1,000 gallon... Oh, I see what he says. It's 1,000 gallons per minute. That's what that pump up the front, right there, is pumping out of your fire hydrant. 1,000 gallons per minute. Okay, now, one thing about this ladder here. Now, he made it so that you can unhook it. But the ladder's got a string in there, so you can pull the string and actually s extend it out. So again, another very cool fire truck by my dad. Just one more thing before I put the Aaron's Fox away. My dad actually got this model kit into a Scale Auto Enthusiast year-end magazine, the annual for 2006. Um, I'll forget which page it is, but I can, I've got one at home here. I'm uh, at his place now. So I'm just gonna figure out what, what page that was on and put it in here. So anyway, this is the amazing Aaron's Fox. All right, this is the final fire truck we have for this little video series. This is a 1930 Citroen C4 Pompier fire engine. <laughs> this is out of the box. My dad made this just to complete his set. This is a Heller kit. However, my dad made a hinge up in here so that you could fold the hood open, which again, uh, okay, here we go. Good. I didn't bust it. <laughs> so there you go and you can see the little little motor he's got in there the little four-cylinder um, camera won't pick it up but it is fully wired now let's carefully put that down and again dad's got little black pinstripes I do believe that's a decal I can see it kind of jogging a little bit whereas a uh, hand paint would be quite a bit easier this is kind of a unique truck you got uh, firemen sitting here, and then they can sit on this uh, jump seat thing in the back. It's got posable steering. The nice little... Dad always liked these uh, artillery wheels or pie plate wheels, whatever you want to call them. The other cool thing about this is it does have an additional hose reel. It sort of makes you think of like a 
artillery pieces or something. Eh? But yeah, that, that just hooks onto those hooks there. And then of course you can see the little pump reel and whatever. It's got a little ladder here. And just hook that on, you know, going up apartments or something. You can see all the detail Dad put under the dashboard there. This is some pretty cool stuff. I wonder if Dad put in the wooden slats. He used to have, uh, he used to smoke cigars back in the 70s. So they always came with like this super duper fine wood, actual wood, but paper thin. Could be part of that. And so there's some hoses under there in the tire. And if you, I'm going to drop that ladder onto him. There's underneath. See all that cool stuff that he did? Very simplistic underneath, actually. Okay, so that is our little uh, Citroen. Now there is one thing. I don't know how I'm gonna do this with one hand. <laughs> Wish I had the tripod here. Anyway, I'm gonna show you something. This is one of the ladders my dad made. Now the thing about it, this is kind of like the tribute to his work. Everybody's upstairs talking. I don't know if it's picking up. Anyway, notice this here. There's a little lock-in plate for the ladder. And it's got a pulley here. Now, let me just, I don't know how I'm going to film this. Here we go. sideways. So if you pull this rope, I can do this. There we go. Pull the rope and there's your ladder extending. Then you want to lock it in on a rail. Just push it up a little. Pull that down. Drops into place. Locks on the rail. That is my dad's handiwork to make a functioning 124 scale fireman's ladder. Now, slide it forward, move that up, and you can slide it all back together. And there we go, dad's folding ladder. Thank you very much for watching these videos and I hope you enjoyed my dad's great work. There'll be more of these to come in the future, but I won't be able to go out and do any more until summer of this year. So in the meantime, again, thank you all for watching and thanks for leaving comments down below and all the rest of that stuff. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I'm sure my dad would appreciate that as well. And uh, what else can I say? <laughs> Until next time, happy model building. Hello everybody, this is Trevor Ursulescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And I'd like to say a big thank you for all the patrons who are coming up right here on the side for supporting this channel, for believing in Monster Hobbies, and for helping out. It has been a great, great improvement to our website, everything you're doing to help. And if you're watching this video for the first time and you wish to be a patron and to help us out with all these cool videos, then please check out the link below in the description. And until next time, have a good one.